What's up guys, today we're taking a quick look at this foldable aluminum laptop stand by a company called Nalixi or Nalaxi, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I'll put some information in the video description. So it's gonna be a quick unboxing and also a short impromptu review. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have the package. So let's take a quick look before we open it up. In the front you can see foldable aluminum laptop stand with a picture of the device some information on the bottom. On the back, you got some features listed. It says ergonomic design, great compatibility, lifetime quality, best height, heat dissipation, protective rubber. On the top, barcode, the other edges, no labels or anything like that. slides up pretty easily. The inside's empty and it's wrapped in this sort of uh, you know kind of light styrofoam type packaging material which I'm sure you've seen before. Um, it's not taped or anything it's just folded and on the inside just got the device. So here is the stand. It's got a nice metallic matte type finish like it probably won't scratch too easily. Got the brand on the bottom, Nuluxy, N-U-L-A-X-Y. At the bottom here, it's uh, this corner here is kind of a rubberized material, thin rubber film, I guess. The top, you got again that same rubber material. You got the hinge here on the top. On the side, you can see kind of the, the edge is a little bit, got this little polished finished look going here. The top, the hinge again, side, same thing as we just saw. Bottom, you can see those kind of two rubber grips. The back, again, same color as the front, same finish. Got some more rubber material here, little feet. And then the stand just kind of unfolds. I will say, it doesn't really pull apart easily. So it does spin all the way around to the front. You can see there it stops. Obviously that's where the hinge ends. It's definitely tougher than I thought it would be, but personally I think that's a good thing. It's gonna let you put light and heavy laptops on here. You know, if it was, if you're gonna put something really heavy, you kinda wanna make sure it stands up. And the quality on this is pretty good. I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's got a little heft to it. It's not extremely light. So chances are you'd be using it on your desk like this, where you can put your laptop on it. Give you another angle there, kind of see what it looks like. Got the rubber areas to cushion your laptop so it won't scratch. It's gonna obviously depend on your specific model. It's a good design overall too. It's, I feel like it's designed to fit different laptops and also not to not slide. So even though this is advertised as a laptop stand, I did notice that it could possibly be used for a tablet of sorts. If you flip it the other way around, you can set it up here and it's got the rubber that would then serve as sort of cushioning for the back of your tablet. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for tablets, but it just, it's kind of something I noticed. Okay, so the laptop that I regularly use right now is the Razer Blade 15. It's a 15.6 inch laptop. It's about four and a half pounds. Typical 15.6 inch laptop, a little on the smaller side. And just gonna put the laptop down. So when I put it down, it kind of hit the bottom edges to kind of let you know to stop. And if you try to shift it back and forth, well, I mean, left and right, it's definitely a little tougher. So the, the, the rubber parts are gripping it as it should. You just open it up like there. So that's just kind of the view as, you know, you're on your desk, it's at an angle. So here's a better angle of the laptop and the, and the stand that it's on. You know, you're gonna be sitting down on your desk, kind of using like this. It's quite comfortable to use, I would say, at this angle. And like I mentioned earlier, this angle here, is about 90 degrees. Again, you can adjust it to multiple angles. Even with the laptop on it, as you can see, that's more of a reasonable angle to uh, typically be using it at. Let's also take a look at it, using it perhaps on a bed or you know somewhere other than a desk. I'm now gonna take a look at it using it just on my bed, like laying down or something. So here we have the stand again, as you see. This is kind of the angle I have it at. 
perhaps another use would be you know watching TV or something it's just on my uh, bread okay so we got the laptop and kind of just slides in there you can just open this up the stand could definitely be useful if you're wanting to use it on your bed while you're watching Netflix. And sort of the last scenario I want to look at was using it on your lap. It's definitely going to vary based on, you know, whether you're short, tall. Already this is uncomfortable on the lap. You know, you really wouldn't be using a laptop stand on your lap in my opinion. It's a bit tricky to keep on your lap level and just comfortably because, um, you know, you got this thin edge here. So we got the stand on my lap and then we're going to have the laptop just kind of laying it on. It's got some weight to it. They got the stand plus the laptop. You know, it's four and a half pounds plus the stand. You know, already it's going to be a little weird to use at an angle. It's definitely a little bit more favorable compared to it just being plain or flat, but probably no way you could type on this or use this with the stand on your lap like this because it's just a matter of time before it falls. I just wanted to give it a try and see if it's possible to use in your lap and it is, but definitely wouldn't recommend it. You should probably use it on a desk. So that's it for the review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, consider giving me a thumbs up or maybe even subscribing if you want to see future videos. So until next time.